Religion in the United States is characterized by a diversity of religious beliefs and practices. Various religious faiths have flourished within the United States. A majority of Americans report that religion plays a very important role in their lives, a proportion unique among developed countries. Historically, the United States has always been marked by religious pluralism and diversity, beginning with various native beliefs of the pre colonial time. In colonial times, Anglicans, Catholics, and mainline Protestants, as well as Jews, arrived from Europe. Eastern Orthodoxy has been present since the Russian colonization of Alaska. Various dissenting Protestants, who left the Church of England, greatly diversified the religious landscape. The Great Awakenings gave birth to multiple evangelical Protestant denominations. Membership in Methodist and Baptist churches increased drastically in the Second Great Awakening. In the 18th century, deism found support among American upper classes and thinkers. The Episcopal Church, splitting from the Church of England, came into being in the American Revolution. New Protestant branches like Adventism emerged, Restorationists and other Christians like the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Latter-day Saint movement, Churches of Christ and Church of Christ, Scientist, as well as Unitarian and Universalist communities all spread in the 19th century. Pentecostalism emerged in the early 20th century as a result of the Azusa Street Revival. Scientology emerged in the 1950s. Unitarian Universalism resulted from the merge of Unitarian and Universalist churches in the 20th century. Since the 1990s, the religious share of Christians has decreased due to secularization, while Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, and other religions have spread. Protestantism, historically dominant, ceased to be the religious category of the majority in the early 2010s. Christianity is the largest religion in the United States with the various Protestant churches having the most adherents. In 2016, Christians represent 73.7% .7 of the total population, 48.9% identifying as Protestants, 23.0% as Catholics, and 1.8% as Mormons, and are followed by people having no religion with 18.2% of the total population. Judaism is the second largest religion in the U.S., practiced by 2.1% of the population, followed by Islam with 0.8%. Mississippi is the most religious state in the country, with 63% of its adult population described as very religious, saying that religion is important to them and attending religious services almost every week, while New Hampshire, with only 20% of its adult population described as very religious, is the least religious state. The most religious region of the United States is American Samoa 99.3% religious. History. From early colonial days, when some English and German settlers moved in search of religious freedom, America has been profoundly influenced by religion. That influence continues in American culture, social life, and politics. Several of the original thirteen colonies were established by settlers who wished to practice their own religion within a community of like minded people. The Massachusetts Bay Colony was established by English Puritans, Congregationalists, Pennsylvania by British Quakers, Maryland by English Catholics, and Virginia by English Anglicans. Despite these, and as a result of intervening religious strife and preference in England, the Plantation Act 1740 would set official policy for new immigrants coming to British America until the American Revolution. The text of the First Amendment to the country's constitution states that, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances." It guarantees the free exercise of religion while also preventing the government from establishing a state religion. However, the states were not bound by the provision and as late as the 1830s Massachusetts provided tax money to local congregational churches. The Supreme Court since the 1940s has interpreted the Fourteenth Amendment as applying the First Amendment to the state and local governments. President John Adams and a unanimous Senate endorsed the Treaty of Tripoli in 1797 that stated, "...the government of the United States of America is not, in any sense, founded on the Christian religion." Expert researchers and authors have referred to the United States as a Protestant nation or founded on Protestant principles. 
specifically emphasizing its Calvinist heritage. The modern official motto of the United States of America, as established in a 1956 law signed by President Dwight D. Eisenhower, is, In God We Trust. The phrase first appeared on U.S. coins in 1864. According to a 2002 survey by the Pew Research Center, nearly six in ten Americans said that religion plays an important role in their lives, compared to 33% in Great Britain, 27% in Italy, 21% in Germany, 12% in Japan, and 11% in France. The survey report stated that the results showed America having a greater similarity to developing nations where higher percentages say that religion plays an important role than to other wealthy nations where religion plays a minor role. In 1963, 90% of US adults claimed to be Christians while only 2% professed no religious identity. In 2016, 73.7% identified as Christians while 18.2% claimed no religious affiliation. Topic. Freedom of religion The United States federal government was the first national government to have no official state-endorsed religion. However, some states had established religions in some form until the 1830s. Modeling the provisions concerning religion within the Virginia Statute for Religious Freedom, the framers of the Constitution rejected any religious test for office, and the First Amendment specifically denied the federal government any power to enact any law respecting either an establishment of religion or prohibiting its free exercise, thus protecting any religious organization, institution, or denomination from government interference. The decision was mainly influenced by European rationalist and Protestant ideals, but was also a consequence of the pragmatic concerns of minority religious groups and small states that did not want to be under the power or influence of a national religion that did not represent them. <laughs> Abrahamic religions <laughs> Christianity The most popular religion in the U.S. is Christianity, comprising the majority of the population 73.7% .7 of adults in 2016. According to the Association of Statisticians of American Religious Bodies newsletter published March 2017, based on data from 2010, Christians were the largest religious population in all 3,143 counties in the country. Roughly 48.9% of Americans are Protestants, 23.0% are Catholics, 1.8% are Mormons the name commonly used to refer to members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Christianity was introduced during the period of European colonization. According to a 2012 review by the National Council of Churches, the five largest denominations are The Catholic Church, 68,202,492 members the Southern Baptist Convention, 16,136,044 members The United Methodist Church, 7,679,850 members The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, 6,157,238 members The Church of God in Christ, 5,499,875 members The Southern Baptist Convention, with over 16 million adherents, is the largest of more than 200 distinctly named Protestant denominations. In 2007, members of evangelical churches comprised 26% of the American population, while another 18% belonged to mainline Protestant churches, and 7% belonged to historically black churches. A 2015 study estimates some 450,000 Christian believers from a Muslim background in the country, most of them belonging to some form of Protestantism. In 2010 there were approximately 180,000 Arab Americans and about 130,000 Iranian Americans who converted from Islam to Christianity. Dudley Woodbury, a Fulbright scholar of Islam, estimates that 20,000 Muslims convert to Christianity annually in the United States. Topic: <laughs> Mainline Protestant denominations. Historians agree that members of mainline Protestant denominations have played leadership roles in many aspects of American life, including politics, business, science, the arts, and education. They founded most of the country's leading institutes of higher education. 
According to Harriet Zuckerman, 72% of American Nobel Prize laureates between 1901 and 1972 have identified from Protestant background. Episcopalians and Presbyterians tend to be considerably wealthier and better educated than most other religious groups, and numbers of the most wealthy and affluent American families as the Vanderbilts and Astors, Rockefeller, DuPont, Roosevelt, Forbes, Whitney's, Morgans, and Harrimans are mainline Protestant families, though those affiliated with Judaism are the wealthiest religious group in the United States and those affiliated with Catholicism, owing to sheer size, have the largest number of adherents of all groups in the top income bracket. Some of the first colleges and universities in America, including Harvard, Yale, Princeton, Columbia, Dartmouth, Williams, Bowdoin, Middlebury, and Amherst, all were founded by mainline Protestant denominations. By the 1920s most had weakened or dropped their formal connection with a denomination. James Hunter argues that the private schools and colleges established by the mainline Protestant denominations, as a rule, still want to be known as places that foster values, but few will go so far as to identify those values as Christian. Overall, the distinctiveness of mainline Protestant identity has largely dissolved since the 1960s. Christian settlers Beginning around 1600 European settlers introduced Anglican and Puritan's religion, as well as Baptist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Quaker, and Moravian denominations. Beginning in the 16th century, the Spanish and later the French and English introduced Catholicism. From the 19th century to the present, Catholics moved to the U.S. in large numbers due to immigration of Italians, Hispanics, Portuguese, French, Polish, Irish, Highland Scots, Dutch, Flemish, Hungarians, Germans, Lebanese Maronite, and other ethnic groups. During the 19th century, two main branches of Eastern Christianity also arrived to America. Eastern Orthodoxy was brought to America by Greek, Russian, Ukrainian, Serbian, and other immigrant groups, mainly from Eastern Europe. In the same time, several immigrant groups from the Middle East, mainly Armenians, Copts and Syriacs, brought Oriental Orthodoxy to America. Several Christian groups were founded in America during the Great Awakenings. Interdenominational evangelicalism and Pentecostalism emerged, new Protestant denominations such as Adventism, nondenominational movements such as the Restoration Movement which over time separated into the Churches of Christ, the Christian Churches and Churches of Christ, and the Christian Church Disciples of Christ, Jehovah's Witnesses called Bible Students in the latter part of the 19th century, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Mormonism. The strength of various sects varies greatly in different regions of the country, with rural parts of the South having many evangelicals but very few Catholics except Louisiana and the Gulf Coast, and from among the Hispanic community, both of which consist mainly of Catholics, while urbanized areas of the North Atlantic states and Great Lakes, as well as many industrial and mining towns, are heavily Catholic, though still quite mixed, especially due to the heavily Protestant African American communities. In 1990, nearly 72% of the population of Utah was Mormon, as well as 26% of neighboring Idaho. Lutheranism is most prominent in the upper Midwest, with North Dakota having the highest percentage of Lutherans, 35% according to a 2001 survey. The largest religion, Christianity, has proportionately diminished since 1990. While the absolute number of Christians rose from 1990 to 2008, the percentage of Christians dropped from 86% to 76%. A nationwide telephone interview of 1,002 adults conducted by the Barna Group found that 70% of American adults believe that God is the all-powerful, all-knowing creator of the universe who still rules it today, and that 9% of all American adults and 0.5% young adults hold to what the survey defined as a Biblical worldview. Episcopalian, Presbyterian, Eastern Orthodox, and United Church of Christ members have the highest number of graduate and postgraduate degrees per capita of all Christian denominations in the United States, as well as the most high income earners. However, owing to the sheer size or demographic head count of Catholics, more individual Catholics have graduate degrees and are in the highest income brackets than have or are individuals of any other religious community. Topic. Judaism After Christianity, Judaism is the next largest religious affiliation in the U.S., though this identification is not necessarily indicative of religious beliefs or practices. 
There are between 5.3 and 6.6 .6 million Jews. A significant number of people identify themselves as American Jews on ethnic and cultural grounds, rather than religious ones. For example, 19% of self-identified American Jews do not believe God exists. The 2001 ARIS study projected from its sample that there are about 5.3 million adults in the American Jewish population, 2.83 million adults 1.4% of the U.S. adult population are estimated to be adherents of Judaism, 1.08 million are estimated to be adherents of no religion, and 1.36 million are estimated to be adherents of a religion other than Judaism. ARIS 2008 estimated about 2.68 million adults in the country identified Judaism as their faith. According to a 2017 study, Judaism is the religion of approximately 2% of the American population. Jews have been present in what is now the U.S. since the 17th century, and specifically allowed since the British Colonial Plantation Act 1740. Although small Western European communities initially developed and grew, large-scale immigration did not take place until the late 19th century, largely as a result of persecutions in parts of Eastern Europe. The Jewish community in the United States is composed predominantly of Ashkenazi Jews whose ancestors emigrated from Central and Eastern Europe. There are, however, small numbers of older and some recently arrived communities of Sephardi Jews with roots tracing back to 15th century Iberia, Spain, Portugal, and North Africa. There are also Mizrahi Jews from the Middle East, Caucasia and Central Asia, as well as much smaller numbers of Ethiopian Jews, Indian Jews, Kaifeng Jews and others from various smaller Jewish ethnic divisions. Approximately 25% of the Jewish American population lives in New York City, according to the Association of Statisticians of American Religious Bodies newsletter published March 2017. Based on data from 2010, Jews were the largest minority religion in 231 counties out of the 3,143 counties in the country. According to a 2014 survey conducted by the Pew Forum on Religion and Public Life, 1.7% of adults in the U.S. identify Judaism as their religion. Among those surveyed, 44% said they were Reform Jews, 22% said they were Conservative Jews, and 14% said they were Orthodox Jews. According to the 1990 National Jewish Population Survey, 38% of Jews were affiliated with the Reform tradition, 35% were conservative, 6% were orthodox, 1% were reconstructionists, 10% linked themselves to some other tradition, and 10% said they are just Jewish. The Pew Research Center report on American Judaism released in October 2013 revealed that 22% of Jewish Americans say they have no religion and the majority of respondents do not see religion as the primary constituent of Jewish identity. 62% believe Jewish identity is based primarily in ancestry and culture, only 15% in religion. Among Jews who gave Judaism as their religion, 55% based Jewish identity on ancestry and culture, and 66% did not view belief in God as essential to Judaism. A 2009 study estimated the Jewish population, including both those who define themselves as Jewish by religion and those who define themselves as Jewish in cultural or ethnic terms, to be between 6.0 and 6.4 million. According to a study done in 2000 there were an estimated 6.14 million Jewish people in the country, about 2% of the population. According to the 2001 National Jewish Population Survey, 4.3 million American Jewish adults have some sort of strong connection to the Jewish community, whether religious or cultural. Jewishness is generally considered an ethnic identity as well as a religious one. Among the 4.3 million American Jews described as strongly connected, to Judaism, over 80% have some sort of active engagement with Judaism, ranging from attendance at daily prayer services on one end of the spectrum to attending Passover cedars or lighting Hanukkah candles on the other. The survey also discovered that Jews in the Northeast and Midwest are generally more observant than Jews in the South or West. Reflecting a trend also observed among other religious groups, Jews in the northwestern United States are typically the least observant of tradition. The Jewish American community has higher household incomes than average, and is one of the best educated religious communities in the United States. Islam 
Islam is the third largest religion in number in the United States, after Christianity and Judaism, representing the 0.8% of the population in 2016. According to the Association of Statisticians of American Religious Bodies newsletter published in March 2017, based on data from 2010, Muslims were the largest minority religion in 392 counties out of the 3,143 counties in the country. Islam in America effectively began with the arrival of African slaves. It is estimated that about 10% of African slaves transported to the United States were Muslim. Most, however, became Christians, and the United States did not have a significant Muslim population until the arrival of immigrants from Arab and East Asian Muslim areas. According to some experts, Islam later gained a higher profile through the Nation of Islam, a religious group that appealed to black Americans after the 1940s. Its prominent converts included Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali. The first Muslim elected in Congress was Keith Ellison in 2006, followed by Andre Carson in 2008. Research indicates that Muslims in the United States are generally more assimilated and prosperous than their counterparts in Europe. Like other subcultural and religious communities, the Islamic community has generated its own political organizations and charity organizations. Baha'i Faith The United States has perhaps the second largest Baha'i community in the world. First mention of the faith in the U.S. was at the inaugural Parliament of World Religions, which was held at the Columbian Exposition in Chicago in 1893. In 1894, Ibrahim George Kerala, a Syrian Baha'i immigrant, established a community in the U.S. He later left the main group and founded a rival movement. According to the Association of Statisticians of American Religious Bodies newsletter published March, 2017, based on data from 2010, Baha'is were the largest minority religion in 80 counties out of the 3,143 counties in the country. <laughs> Rastafarianism Rastafarians began migrating to the United States in the 1950s, 60s and 70s from the religion's 1930s birthplace, Jamaica. Marcus Garvey, who is considered a prophet by many Rastafarians, rose to prominence and cultivated many of his ideas in the United States. <laughs> Dharmic religions <laughs> Buddhism Buddhism entered the U.S. during the 19th century with the arrival of the first immigrants from East Asia. The first Buddhist temple was established in San Francisco in 1853 by Chinese Americans. During the late 19th century Buddhist missionaries from Japan traveled to the U.S. During the same time period, U.S. intellectuals started to take interest in Buddhism. The first prominent U.S. citizen to publicly convert to Buddhism was Henry Steele Alcott in 1880 who is still honored in Sri Lanka for these efforts. An event that contributed to the strengthening of Buddhism in the U.S. was the Parliament of the World's Religions in 1893, which was attended by many Buddhist delegates sent from India, China, Japan, Vietnam, Thailand and Sri Lanka. The early 20th century was characterized by a continuation of tendencies that had their roots in the 19th century. The second half, by contrast, saw the emergence of new approaches, and the move of Buddhism into the mainstream and making itself a mass and social religious phenomenon. According to a 2016 study, Buddhists are approximately 1% of the American population. According to the Association of Statisticians of American Religious Bodies newsletter published March, 2017, based on data from 2010, Buddhists were the largest minority religion in 186 counties out of the 3,143 counties in the country. <inaudible> <inaudible> Hinduism Hinduism is the fourth largest faith in the United States, representing approximately 1% of the population in 2016. The first time Hinduism entered the U.S. is not clearly identifiable. However, large groups of Hindus have immigrated from India and other Asian countries since the enactment of the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965. During the 1960s and 1970s Hinduism exercised fascination contributing to the development of New Age thought. During the same decades the International Society for Krishna Consciousness a Vaishnavite Hindu reform organization was founded in the U.S. 
In 2001, there were an estimated 766,000 Hindus in the U.S., about 0.2% of the total population. According to the Association of Statisticians of American Religious Bodies newsletter published March, 2017, based on data from 2010, Hindus were the largest minority religion in 92 counties out of the 3,143 counties in the country. In 2004, the Hindu American Foundation a national institution protecting rights of the Hindu community of U.S. was founded. American Hindus have one of the highest rates of educational attainment and household income among all religious communities, and tend to have lower divorce rates. <inaudible> Jainism Adherents of Jainism first arrived in the United States in the 20th century. The most significant time of Jain immigration was in the early 1970s. The United States has since become a center of the Jain diaspora. The Federation of Jain Associations in North America is an umbrella organization of local American and Canadian Jain congregations to preserve, practice, and promote Jainism and the Jain way of life. Sikhism Sikhism is a religion originating from the Indian subcontinent which was introduced into the United States when, around the turn of the 20th century, Sikhs started emigrating to the United States in significant numbers to work on farms in California. They were the first community to come from India to the U.S. in large numbers. The first Sikh Gurdwara in America was built in Stockton, California, in 1912. In 2007, there were estimated to be between 250,000 and 500,000 Sikhs living in the United States, with the largest populations living on the East and West Coasts, with additional populations in Detroit, Chicago, and Austin. The United States also has a number of non Punjabi converts to Sikhism. <laughs> East Asian religions Taoism <laughs> In 2004 there were an estimated 56,000 Taoists in the U.S. Taoism was popularized throughout the world through the writings and teachings of Lao Tzu and other Taoists as well as the practice of Qigong, Tai Chi Chuan and other Chinese martial arts. <laughs> no religion In 2016, approximately 18.2% of the Americans declared to be not religiously affiliated. Topic: <inaudible> Agnosticism, Atheism, and Humanism. A 2001 survey directed by Dr. Ariella Kieser for the City University of New York indicated that amongst the more than 100 categories of response, no religious identification had the greatest increase in population in both absolute and percentage terms. This category included atheists, agnostics, humanists, and others with no stated religious preferences. Figures are up from 14.3 million in 1990 to 34.2 million in 2008, representing an increase from 8% of the total population in 1990 to 15% in 2008. A nationwide Pew Research study published in 2008 put the figure of unaffiliated persons at 16.1%, while another Pew study published in 2012 was described as placing the proportion at about 20% overall and roughly 33% for the 18 to 29 year old demographic. In a 2006 nationwide poll, University of Minnesota researchers found that despite an increasing acceptance of religious diversity, atheists were generally distrusted by other Americans who trusted them less than Muslims, recent immigrants and other minority groups in "...sharing their vision of American society." They also associated atheists with undesirable attributes such as amorality, criminal behavior, rampant materialism and cultural elitism. However, the same study also reported that the researchers also found acceptance or rejection of atheists as related not only to personal religiosity, but also to one's exposure to diversity, education and political orientation, with more educated, East and West Coast Americans more accepting of atheists than their Midwestern counterparts. Some surveys have indicated that doubts about the existence of the divine were growing quickly among Americans under 30. On the 24th of March 2012, American atheists sponsored the Reason Rally in Washington D.C., followed by the American Atheist Convention in Bethesda, Maryland. 
Organizers called the estimated crowd of 8,000 to 10,000 the largest ever U.S. gathering of atheists in one place. Deism In the United States, Enlightenment philosophy which itself was heavily inspired by deist ideals played a major role in creating the principle of religious freedom, expressed in Thomas Jefferson's letters and included in the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. American founding fathers, or framers of the Constitution, who were especially noted for being influenced by such philosophy of deism include Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, Cornelius Harnett, Governor Morris, and Hugh Williamson. Their political speeches show distinct deistic influence. Other notable founding fathers may have been more directly deist. These include Thomas Paine, James Madison, possibly Alexander Hamilton, and Ethan Allen. Topic. Belief in the existence of a god Various polls have been conducted to determine Americans' actual beliefs regarding a god. In 2014 the Pew Research Center's Religious Landscape Study showed 63% of Americans believed in God and were "...absolutely certain," in their view, while the figure rose to 89% including those who were agnostic. A 2012 Win Gallup International poll showed that 5% of Americans considered themselves "...convinced." Atheists, which was a five-fold increase from the last time the survey was taken in 2005, and 5% said they did not know or else did not respond. A 2012 Pew Research Center survey found that doubts about the existence of a God had grown among younger Americans, with 68% telling Pew they never doubt God's existence, a 15-point drop in five years. In 2007, 83% of American millennials said they never doubted God's existence. A 2011 Gallup poll found 92% of Americans said yes to the basic question, Do you believe in God? while 7% said no and 1% had no opinion. A 2010 Gallup poll found 80% of Americans believe in a God, 12% believe in a universal spirit, 6% don't believe in either, 1% chose other, and 1% had no opinion. 80% is a decrease from the 1940s, when Gallup first asked this question. A late 2009 online Harris poll of 2,303 U.S. adults 18 and older found that 82% of adult Americans believe in God, the same number as in two earlier polls in 2005 and 2007. Another 9% said they did not believe in God, and 9% said that they were not sure. It further concluded. Large majorities also believe in miracles 76%, heaven 75%, that Jesus is God or the Son of God 73%, in angels 72%, the survival of the soul after death 71%, and in the resurrection of Jesus 70%. Less than half 45% of adults believe in Darwin's theory of evolution but this is more than the 40% who believe in creationism. Many people consider themselves Christians without necessarily believing in some of the key beliefs of Christianity. However, this is not true of born-again Christians. In addition to their religious beliefs, large minorities of adults, including many Christians, have pagan or pre-Christian beliefs such as a belief in ghosts, astrology, witches and reincarnation. Because the sample is based on those who agreed to participate in the Harris Interactive Panel, no estimates of theoretical sampling error can be calculated. A 2008 survey of 1,000 people concluded that, based on their stated beliefs rather than their religious identification, 69.5% of Americans believe in a personal God, roughly 12.3% of Americans are atheist or agnostic, and another 12.1% are deistic believing in a higher power, non-personal God, but no personal God. Mark Chaves, a Duke University professor of sociology, religion and divinity, found that 92% of Americans believed in God in 2008, but that significantly fewer Americans have great confidence in their religious leaders than a generation ago. According to a 2008 ARIS survey, belief in God varies considerably by region. The lowest rate is in the West with 59% reporting a belief in God, and the highest rate is in the South at 86%. Topic. Spiritual but not religious Spiritual but not religious. 
SBNR is self-identified stance of spirituality that takes issue with organized religion as the sole or most valuable means of furthering spiritual growth. Spirituality places an emphasis upon the well-being of the mind-body-spirit, so holistic activities such as Tai Chi, Reiki, and Yoga are common within the SBNR movement. In contrast to religion, spirituality has often been associated with the interior life of the individual. One fifth of the U.S. public and a third of adults under the age of 30 are reportedly unaffiliated with any religion, however, they identify as being spiritual in some way. Of these religiously unaffiliated Americans, 37% classify themselves as spiritual but not religious. Others Topic. Native American religions Native American religions historically exhibited much diversity, and are often characterized by animism or panentheism. The membership of Native American religions in the 21st century comprises about 9,000 people. Topic. Neopaganism Neopaganism in the United States is represented by widely different movements and organizations. The largest neopagan religion is Wicca, followed by Neo-Druidism. Other neopagan movements include Germanic neopaganism, Celtic Reconstructionist paganism, Hellenic Polytheistic Reconstructionism, and Semitic neopaganism. <laughs> Druidry According to the American Religious Identification Survey ARIS, there are approximately 30,000 Druids in the United States. Modern Druidism arrived in North America first in the form of fraternal Druidic organizations in the 19th century, and orders such as the Ancient Order of Druids in America were founded as distinct American groups as early as 1912. In 1963, the Reformed Druids of North America RDNA was founded by students at Carleton College, Northfield, Minnesota. They adopted elements of neopaganism into their practices, for instance celebrating the festivals of the Wheel of the Year. <inaudible> Wicca Wicca advanced in North America in the 1960s by Raymond Buckland, an expatriate Briton who visited Gardner's Isle of Man Coven to gain initiation. Universal Eclectic Wicca was popularized in 1969 for a diverse membership drawing from both Dianic and British traditional Wiccan backgrounds. Nordic Paganism Nordic Paganism is the umbrella term for polytheistic followers of the Proto Norse period religions involving the Nordic pantheon of gods. This pantheon includes the Esser, Odin, Thor, Loki, Sif, Heimdall Lr, Baldr, and Tyr to name a few, and the Vanir, Freya, Freyr, Njur, Nerthus, and others. The followers of Nordic paganism include Odinists, Tyrists, Lokians, Asatru, and practitioners of Seer, among other varying followers. Nordic pagans follow the teachings of the Havamal. This old text, along with the Prose Edda and Poetic Edda, gives the basis for Norse mythology, stories, legends, and beliefs. In popular culture, Norse mythology is well known. Fairy tale creatures, such as elves, dwarves, giants, and trolls all come from Norse mythology. These can be seen in famous works such as J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. This is one of the earlier works to bring Norse concepts to life. Comic book producer Marvel Comics has taken a different approach, making Thor a modern superhero, and Loki a villain. These comics have spawned several movies and toys. Norse mythology and the Scandinavian Germanic lifestyle were looked at more in depth than ever before with the popular TV series Vikings. Though not perfect on accuracy, it is very close to how these people would have lived and worshipped in the 1st and 2nd centuries. There is also a more negative light to Nordic paganism's popularity. Many white supremacy groups, including the Aryan Brotherhood, Sons of Odin, and the Nazis all used Nordic symbols and express Norse teachings in a skewed manner to support their beliefs that white men are the superior race and gender of the world. Nazis famously used the symbol Sawilo, for their SS pins. Their use of symbols such as these were originally tied to Guido von List. The Aryan Brotherhood and soldiers of Odin used the hammer of Thor Mjolnir and the symbol Odal rune, which they used to represent Odin, to mark themselves as part of the gang. This has led to many prisons banning the wearing of Mjolnir by inmates due to their gang affiliation. <laughs> New Thought Movement 
A group of churches which started in the 1830s in the United States is known under the banner of New Thought. These churches share a spiritual, metaphysical and mystical predisposition and understanding of the Bible and were strongly influenced by the Transcendentalist movement, particularly the work of Ralph Waldo Emerson. Another antecedent of this movement was Swedenborgianism, founded on the writings of Emanuel Swedenborg in 1787. The New Thought concept was named by Emma Curtis Hopkins, teacher of teachers, after Hopkins broke off from Mary Baker Eddy's Church of Christ, scientist. The movement had been previously known as the Mental Sciences or the Christian Sciences. The three major branches are Religious Science, Unity Church and Divine Science. Topic. Unitarian Universalism Unitarian Universalists UUs are among the most liberal of all religious denominations in America. The shared creed includes beliefs in inherent dignity, a common search for truth, respect for beliefs of others, compassion, and social action. They are unified by their shared search for spiritual growth and by the understanding that an individual's theology is a result of that search and not obedience to an authoritarian requirement. UUs have historical ties to anti-war, civil rights, and LGBT rights movements, as well as providing inclusive church services for the broad spectrum of liberal Christians, liberal Jews, secular humanists, LGBT, Jewish Christian parents and partners, Earth-centered, Wicca, and Buddhist meditation adherents. Topic. Major religious movements founded in the United States Topic. Christian Pentecostalism, movement which emphasizes the role of the Holy Spirit, finds its historic roots in the Azusa Street Revival in Los Angeles from 1904 to 1906, sparked by Charles Parham. It is estimated to have over 279 million followers worldwide, many in Africa and South America. Adventism, began as an interdenominational movement. Its most vocal leader was William Miller, who in the 1830s in New York became convinced of an imminent second coming of Jesus. The most prominent modern group to emerge from this is the Seventh-day Adventists. The Latter-day Saint movement founded in 1830 by Joseph Smith in upstate New York, a product of the Christian revivalist movement of the Second Great Awakening and based in Christian primitivism. Multiple Latter-day Saint denominations can be found throughout the United States. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints LDS Church, the largest denomination, is headquartered in Salt Lake City, Utah, and it has members in many countries. The Community of Christ, the second largest denomination, is headquartered in Independence, Missouri. Worldwide they claim about 15 million members. Jehovah's Witnesses, originated with the religious movement known as Bible Students, which was founded in Pennsylvania in the late 1870s by Charles Taze Russell. In their early years, the Bible Students were loosely connected with Adventism, and the Jehovah's Witnesses still share some similarities with it. They claim about 7.69 million active members worldwide. Christian Science, founded by Mary Baker Eddy in the late 19th century. The Church claims some 400,000 members worldwide. Churches of Christ, Disciples of Christ, a restoration movement with no governing body. The restoration movement solidified as a historical phenomenon in 1832 when restorationists from two major movements championed by Barton W. Stone and Alexander Campbell merged. It has an estimated 3 million followers worldwide. Metropolitan Community Church, founded by Troy Perry in Los Angeles, 1968. Unitarianism developed out of the congregational churches. In 1825 the American Unitarian Association was formed in Boston, Massachusetts. Universalist Church of America's first regional conference was founded in 1793. Other. New Thought Movement – Two of the early proponents of New Thought beliefs during the mid to late 19th century were Phineas Parkhurst Quimby and the mother of New Thought, Emma Curtis Hopkins. The three major branches are Religious Science, Unity Church and Divine Science. Scientology – Founded by L. Ron Hubbard in 1954. Numbers estimated from a few tens of thousands to 15 million latter is the religion's estimation in 2004. Reconstructionist Judaism, founded by Mordecai Kaplan and started in the 1920s. 
Native American Church, founded by Quanah Parker beginning in the 1890s and incorporating in 1918. An estimated 250,000 followers. Nation of Islam, a sect of Islam, created and followed predominantly by African Americans. Church of Satan, founded in San Francisco in 1966 by Anton Lavi. Ekanker, founded in Las Vegas in 1965 by Paul Twitchell. Self-Realization Fellowship, founded in Los Angeles by Paramahansa Yogananda in 1920. Unitarian Universalist Association in 1961 from the consolidation of the American Unitarian Association and the Universalist Church of America. Historically Christian denominations, the UUA is no longer Christian and is the largest Unitarian Universalist denomination in the world. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government positions. The First Amendment guarantees both the free practice of religion and the non-establishment of religion by the federal government. Later court decisions have extended that prohibition to the states. The U.S. Pledge of Allegiance was modified in 1954 to add the phrase, under God, in order to distinguish itself from the state atheism espoused by the Soviet Union. Various American presidents have often stated the importance of religion. On February 20, 1955, President Dwight D. Eisenhower stated that, recognition of the supreme being is the first, the most basic, expression of Americanism. President Gerald Ford agreed with and repeated this statement in 1974. Statistics See also, List of U.S. states and territories by religiosity The U.S. Census does not ask about religion. Various groups have conducted surveys to determine approximate percentages of those affiliated with each religious group. 2016 Gallup, Inc. data Gallup carries out since 2008 the Gallup Daily Tracking Survey, an unprecedented survey of 1,000 U.S. adults each day, 350 days per year. It covers political, economic, well-being and demographic topics. Data is weighted to match the U.S. population according to gender, age, race, Hispanic ethnicity, education, region, population density, and phone status in order to correct data for unequal selection probability. 2016 Public Religion Research Institute data In 2016, a poll by the Public Religion Research Institute estimated that 69% of the Americans are Christians, with 45% professing attendance at a variety of churches that could be considered Protestant, and 20% professing Catholic beliefs. The same study says that other non-Christian religions including Judaism, Buddhism, Hinduism, and Islam collectively make up about 7% of the population. 2014 Pew Research Center data Topic. Attendance A 2013 survey reported that 31% of Americans attend religious services at least weekly. It was conducted by the Public Religion Research Institute with a margin of error of 2.5.In 2006, an online Harris poll they stated that the magnitude of errors cannot be estimated due to sampling errors, non-response, etc. 2010 U.S. adults were surveyed found that 26% of those surveyed attended religious services every week or more often. 9% went once or twice a month. 21% went a few times a year. 3% went, once a year, 22% went, less than once a year, and 18% never attend religious services. In a 2009 Gallup International survey, 41.6% of American citizens said that they attended a church, synagogue, or mosque once a week or almost every week. This percentage is higher than other surveyed Western countries. Church attendance varies considerably by state and region. The figures, updated to 2014, ranged from 51% in Utah to 17% in Vermont. Topic. Territories The following is the percentage of Christians and all religions in the U.S. territories as of 2010. 
Topic: Religion and Politics. In August 2010, 67% of Americans said religion was losing influence, compared with 59% who said this in 2006. Majorities of white evangelical Protestants 79%, white mainline Protestants 67%, black Protestants 56%, Catholics 71%, and the religiously unaffiliated 62% all agreed that religion was losing influence on American life. 53% of the total public said this was a bad thing, while just 10% see it as a good thing. Politicians frequently discuss their religion when campaigning, and fundamentalists and black Protestants are highly politically active. However, to keep their status as tax-exempt organizations they must not officially endorse a candidate. Historically Catholics were heavily Democratic before the 1970s, while mainline Protestants comprised the core of the Republican Party. Those patterns have faded away—Catholics, for example, now split about 50 to 50. However, white evangelicals since 1980 have made up a solidly Republican group that favors conservative candidates. Secular voters are increasingly Democratic. Only three presidential candidates for major parties have been Catholics, all for the Democratic Party. Alfred E. Smith in presidential election of 1928 was subjected to anti Catholic rhetoric, which seriously hurt him in the Baptist areas of the South and Lutheran areas of the Midwest, but he did well in the Catholic urban strongholds of the Northeast. John F. Kennedy secured the Democratic presidential nomination in 1960. In the 1960 election, Kennedy faced accusations that as a Catholic president he would do as the Pope would tell him to do, a charge that Kennedy refuted in a famous address to Protestant ministers. John Kerry, a Catholic, won the Democratic presidential nomination in 2004. In the 2004 election religion was hardly an issue, and most Catholics voted for his Protestant opponent George W. Bush. Joe Biden is the first Catholic vice president, Joe Lieberman was the first major presidential candidate that was Jewish, on the Gore-Lieberman campaign of 2000 although John Kerry and Barry Goldwater both had Jewish ancestry, they were practicing Christians. Bernie Sanders ran against Hillary Clinton in the Democratic primary of 2016. He was the first major Jewish candidate to compete in the presidential primary process. However, Sanders noted during the campaign that he does not actively practice any religion. In 2006, Keith Ellison of Minnesota became the first Muslim elected to Congress. When re enacting his swearing in for photos, he used the copy of the Quran once owned by Thomas Jefferson. Andre Carson is the second Muslim to serve in Congress. A Gallup poll released in 2007 indicated that 53% of Americans would refuse to vote for an atheist as president, up from 48% in 1987 and 1999. But then the number started to drop again and reached record low 43% in 2012 and 40% in 2015. Mitt Romney, the Republican presidential nominee in 2012, is Mormon and a member of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. He is the former governor of the state of Massachusetts, and his father George Romney was the governor of the state of Michigan. The Romneys were involved in Mormonism in their states and in the state of Utah. On January 3, 2013, Tulsi Gabbard became the first Hindu member of Congress, using a copy of the Bhagavad Gita while swearing in. 2010 Arda Data The Association of Religion Data Archives ARDA surveyed congregations for their memberships. Churches were asked for their membership numbers. Adjustments were made for those congregations that did not respond and for religious groups that reported only adult membership. ARDA estimates that most of the churches not responding were black Protestant congregations. Significant difference in results from other databases include the lower representation of adherents of one all kinds 62.7%, two Christians 59.9%, three Protestants less than 36%, and the greater number of unaffiliated 37.3%. Topic: Aris findings regarding self-identification. The United States government does not collect religious data in its census. The survey below, the American Religious Identification Survey of 2008, was a random digit dialed telephone survey of 54,461 American residential households in the contiguous United States. 
The 1990 sample size was 113,723, 2001 sample size was 50,281. Adult respondents were asked the open-ended question, What is your religion, if any? Interviewers did not prompt or offer a suggested list of potential answers. The religion of the spouse or partner was also asked. If the initial answer was Protestant or Christian, further questions were asked to probe which particular denomination. About one-third of the sample was asked more detailed demographic questions. Religious self-identification of the U.S. adult population, 1990, 2001, 2008 figures are not adjusted for refusals to reply. Investigators suspect refusals are possibly more representative of no religion than any other group. Highlights The ARIS 2008 survey was carried out during February to November 2008 and collected answers from 54,461 respondents who were questioned in English or Spanish. The American population self-identifies as predominantly Christian, but Americans are slowly becoming less Christian. 86% of American adults identified as Christians in 1990 and 76% in 2008. The historic mainline churches and denominations have experienced the steepest declines, while the non-denominational Christian identity has been trending upward, particularly since 2001. The challenge to Christianity in the U.S. does not come from other religions but rather from a rejection of all forms of organized religion. 34% of American adults considered themselves born-again or evangelical Christians in 2008. The U.S. population continues to show signs of becoming less religious, with one out of every seven Americans failing to indicate a religious identity in 2008. The nuns no stated religious preference, atheist, or agnostic continue to grow, though at a much slower pace than in the 1990s, from 8.2% in 1990, to 14.1% in 2001, to 15.0% in 2008. Asian Americans are substantially more likely to indicate no religious identity than other racial or ethnic groups. One sign of the lack of attachment of Americans to religion is that 27% do not expect a religious funeral at their death. Based on their stated beliefs rather than their religious identification in 2008, 70% of Americans believe in a personal God, roughly 12% of Americans are atheist no God or agnostic unknowable or unsure, and another 12% are deistic a higher power but no personal God. America's religious geography has been transformed since 1990. Religious switching along with Hispanic immigration has significantly changed the religious profile of some states and regions. Between 1990 and 2008, the Catholic population proportion of the New England states fell from 50% to 36% and in New York fell from 44% to 37%, while it rose in California from 29% to 37% and in Texas from 23% to 32%. Overall the 1990-2008 Aris Time series shows that changes in religious self-identification in the first decade of the 21st century have been moderate in comparison to the 1990s, which was a period of significant shifts in the religious composition of the United States. Ethnicity <inaudible> 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 The table below shows the religious affiliations among the ethnicities in the United States, according to the Pew Forum 2014 survey. People of black ethnicity were most likely to be part of a formal religion, with 85% being Christians. Protestant denominations make up the majority of the Christians in the ethnicities. Topic see also American civil religion Freedom of religion in the United States Historical religious demographics of the United States List of religious movements that began in the United States List of U.S. states and territories by religiosity Relationship between religion and science Religion in United States Prison school prayer Hashtag United States Separation of church and state in the United States Topic References Topic Bibliography Buck, Christopher 2009. Religious Myths and Visions of America, How Minority Faiths Redefined America's World Role. Westport, Connecticut, Prager Publishers. ISBN 978-0-313-35959-0.
Richard Dawkins, Secularism, The Founding Fathers and the Religion of America, in The God Delusion, Black Swan, 2007 ISBN 978-0-552-77429-1. De La Torre, Miguel A., Encyclopedia on Hispanic American Religious Culture 2 Vol. ABC Clio Publishers, 2009. Fitzgerald, Thomas 2007. Eastern Christianity in the United States. The Blackwell Companion to Eastern Christianity. Malden, M.A., Blackwell Publishing. pp. 269-279. Gausted, Edwin 1962. Historical Atlas of Religion in America. Harper and Rowe. Gordon, Melton, J. Encyclopedia of American Religions, 7th ed. Thompson, 2003 1408 P.P. Hill, Samuel S., Charles H. Lippe, and Charles Reagan Wilson, eds. Encyclopedia of Religion in the South 2005 Lippe, Charles H., ed. Encyclopedia of the American Religious Experience 3 volume Scribner's, 1988 National Council of the Churches of Christ. Yearbook of American Churches, 2010, 2010 Putnam, Robert D., and David E. Campbell American Grace, How Religion Divides and Unites Us 2010 excerpt and text search Queen, Edward L. et al., eds., Encyclopedia of American Religious History 3rd ed. 3 volume, Facts on File, 2009 topic Historiography Goff, Philip, ed. The Blackwell Companion to Religion in America 2010 online 43 essays by scholars topic external links association of religion data archives compilation of religion data from a project jointly supported by Penn State University Chapman University the Lilly Endowment and the John Templeton Foundation the Aris American Religious Identification Survey time series surveys website of academic research team that conducted three large replicate representative national surveys of adults in the continental United States in 1990, 2001 and 2008. Includes reports, data sets, and other information. Material History of American Religion Project, based at the Vanderbilt University Divinity School and supported by the Lilly Endowment Pew Forum on Religion and Public Life, a project of the Pew Research Center, publishing statistical reports on religion and American life religion, Gallup Historical Trends, Opinion Polling of Americans by the Gallup Poll from the 1940s to the present.